Howdy y'all, got the Bulldog on the channel. Uh, it's five degrees outside and I've been seeing on lots of other guys' videos that they show, you know, what jump pack they use, you know, whenever, it, it, you use it all year round, but especially this time of year when it's cold and batteries die. I uh, figured I'd show you what we use. Ours is a little heavier but at least it has wheels on it to roll around. Here we go. This was given to us by a customer because the gas motor was blown up. And what my boss did, he had bought some parts out of an old Cushman transport and put in it. See there? Now, you see triple pulleys on that motor. And yes, it needs all three of them pulleys and more because if it's got good traction, it'll bark off them belts. You have to have a special pulley made to put on the cart rear end. He's got the rear end for either the Cushman cart, but well, that's kind of overkill to put in there because, you know, the cart will take only so much. So I'll show you what we use for our jump pack. Lucky there. Yeah, the connections need cleaned, but we can select the voltage and everything. Here's what we used to use over here. Back in the 70s, they had electric lawnmowers. And he's having to use an external battery charger on this one because the onboard has quit. Just like everything else, it gets old, it quits. I watched on a channel called Colin Furs. He's an inventor over there in, in England, and he built an electric lawnmower out of a gas. And I'm thinking, well, that's been around longer than you have. <laughs> uh, but this thing, it we don't use it near as much as we used to because they have a flaw. This one, it had a deck on it, uh, had electric motors on the deck that ran off of this through a plug-in. here right there and you get about an hour of running out of it with good batteries but uh, the thing was it didn't the the one that on the the YouTube channel Colin Furs it was it's been recent uh, he had a charging station he built a little charging station with a solar charger over it and he'd pull it up there and just plug it in that was nice but the actual technology has been around 40 years, 50 years. You know, this is what locomotives run on, is batteries. Their diesel engine just runs a generator. That's all. So, you know, electric vehicles are nothing new. And electric lawnmowers are nothing new. They're just, they just have battery, better battery technology than they used to have. But this is also our tow rig and that needs some work. He has another mower that's very similar to this. And he used to push snow with it. When I say he used to push snow with it, this entire parking lot. He pushed snow with a little tractor like that until it broke in half. And then we pulled around stuff with this one. It pulled around a two-ton truck until it broke in half. So, electric has more power than any kind of gas ever has. Power to weight ratio. And this cart here, it will do everything that traction allows. 
That's what we use for jump packs. It's not quite as versatile. You can't put it on there and then drive the vehicle in. But, you know, there's a lot you can do with it. And yes, you, that cart there, it will pull anything that traction allows, including grain trucks. So just figured I'd come on here and, you know, let you know what we use for jump packs. Like, comment, subscribe, hit your little bell notification, share it all around. We'll talk to you later.